like Montgomery, Alabama's Carver High. The morning rush to school is now a morning rush to scroll. How are your phone? Oh! New this year, middle and high school students now forced to lock away their phones before the bell rings. When do they get it back? 2.45. 2.45. Right. Principal Gary Hall pushed for the policy and the pouch to enforce it. They were texting, tweeting, you name it, while classes were going on. Put it in the pouch, then. Here's how it works. At the beginning of the day, students put their cell phones in these pouches. Once it's locked, it is really hard to get back open. They can keep it with them, they just can't open them. They're sealed. There you go. Have a good day. This unlocking magnet, the only thing designed to free them. It's not completely foolproof. We found a lot of cell phone cases with no phone. For students, show of hands, who doesn't like the pouch? It's a painful adjustment. I just love watching cheap talk, so I gotta have my phone. Why don't you like the pouch? I don't like the pouch because like, when I'm in math class, I like to take pictures of the notes and stuff. What's your favorite part? We communicate more with each other now that our phone be locked up. It made me pay attention that I don't got my phone. Who would be using their cell phone if it weren't for the pouch? That's a lot of hands. What would you be doing? Cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Montgomery Public Schools isn't alone. The maker of the pouch, Yonder, says they're seeing an estimated 150% increase in schools using them in 2023. Now working with over 2,000 schools across the country. While most parents are for the pouch, others fear their children will not have their phone when they need it most. If there's an emergency, uh, how can I contact my child. I mean, I'm in panic waiting until someone from the school calls and say, well, hey, there's a shooting. It's been one week. Has it gone the way you thought it would? It's gone really well. Uh, District we Superintendent to... Dr. Melvin Brown tells us the benefits are worth the risk. We have to find a happy medium while at the same time, our ultimate goal is to make sure everybody's 100% as safe as possible. All right, so moving on. Just one week in, this school is already seeing a difference. I just see engagement, honestly. I see talking. They're using their words. It's revolutionized teaching for me this year. Work gets done faster. We move along faster. A new routine. Things are locking. Keep moving. Educators hope will unlock their full potential. For Saparam, NBC News, Montgomery, Alabama. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.